Welcome back. We're talking some more RV sales process. And today we're going to be talking about selling at an RV show. Maybe you've already been through a show. Maybe there's a show just around the corner for you. But an RV show is a great way to get started in the year. We have a lot of people around us, right? We have our great, you know, usually the best prices of the year on the RVs that we brought to the RV show. So we're able to offer our customers a great deal on a new RV, and we have tons of them to choose from. But there lies the trick, right? You know, we have so many people. We have people that are kind of just coming for the festivities or coming for the overpriced drinks and cheap food, or they're just coming to walk around and look at new features. Sometimes people just bought an RV last year and they just want to see what is new in the upcoming RVs. So, you know, we have to discern who's buying, who's not, right? Because the truth is at an RV show, we have to be very concerned with how much time we spend on a customer, right? Because if we spend, you know, hours with a customer and then they end up walking or they end up not buying, or let's just say we spend hours with a customer, four or five hours with a customer, we're there for eight hours and we just spent half of our day closing one deal. A deal's a deal, right? We definitely want to close that. But if we want to sell a lot of RVs to start the year out right, then we need to get more RVs on the board and spending five, six, seven hours, three hours with, you know, a customer, potential customer is not as efficient as we can be. Okay. So we have to be concerned with how much time we're spending with our customers. And I start with that because that's a big deal. We have two, three, four days sometimes for these shows, maybe eight, 10 hour days or 12 hour days, depending on, you know, what show we're at when we get started, so on and so forth. So they can be long days, but we have to be sure that we're spending our time wisely. Okay. Again, because you don't want to get caught wasting your time with customers that just bought an RV last year or that don't have the means to buy an RV or that you know aren't even interested in rvs just came up to look so when we're in our aisles and we're you know selling at an rv show one of the best ways to start your transaction or your interactions with your potential customers is simply by asking them hey what are you rving in right now right because where that starts us is it gives us an idea of you know are they rving or are they not if they are RVing, you know, what are they using? Are they using something older, something that would be a good trade in, right? Do they have a 1998, um, you know, travel trailer, fifth wheel? Do they have, you know, a 2005, 2008 travel trailer, fifth wheel that might be a good trade in? Well, that's a good indication of a customer that might be a good buyer because they're already RVing. So they like the lifestyle. They've had it for, um, you know, they have a, a unit that's a 2008. So, you know, it's a, at a good year to trade it in maybe a 2014 or something might be a little better, but you know, you get the idea is this person is camping in an RV that could probably be upgraded. We know they like camping. They have an RV, they have a trade. So they're probably someone that might be a good buyer. Now, if we ask a potential customer or client, Hey, what are you RVing in right now? And they say, Hey, you know, I have a 2022 um, XYZ travel trailer. Well, we know that even if this person wants to buy a new RV, the likelihood that it happens is probably very low unless they're buying two RVs, which, you know, not a lot of people do, right? So we know, hey, this person has a 2022 RV. Maybe they bought last year's show. Maybe they just bought, maybe they're just looking for new features in RVs that are coming out this year. But we know that that customer might not be one that we want to spend time with. Or maybe the next customer we ask, hey, what are you RVing in right now? And they say, hey, you know, we're not really RVing in anything, right? We don't have anything. That's kind of why we came up to the show is to look at RVs because my husband and I, my family and I, me, my kids, myself, whoever it is, wants to start 
traveling and seeing different campgrounds, right? Now, what we can do is start getting into an interview and qualify. Well, where are you going to be going? Who are you going to be going with? What are you going to be doing? What kind of vehicle do you have? You know, what's your tow capacity? Because all of these things we need to know while we're at the at, at the RV show so that we can show them the right RV. So the interview and qualify process does not change. But realistically, the beginning of the interaction, we're kind of jumping right into it to try to discern who is a buyer and who isn't a buyer. A little different than what we would do at the dealership because at the dealership, everybody is a buyer. We just have to put enough time into the deal, ask enough questions, you know, reach out enough time so that we can get that connection before we can close the deal with some of our dealership leads. However, at a show, we have a lot of people that we can choose from. So we And we only have so much time that we're there. Again, I can't stress this enough. We're there three or four days. We're there, you know, six, eight, ten hours a day, pending on the schedule. So we have that time and that time alone to close RV deals. So if we go from customer after customer after customer that just bought an RV last year or that have, you know, no means of buying an RV and we take eight hours of a day and we don't put a sale up on the board. Well, we weren't being efficient with our time. We weren't asking the right questions. We weren't trying to figure out what customers are buyers before we move on with the sales process. Okay, again, that's a little different than what you would be doing at your dealership. But again, we're at a show and we need to discern who we need to talk to so that we can allocate our time most efficiently. That way we can sell the most deals possible while we're at the show for you know our two three four days whatever it ends up being right so the way that we're going to start it we say something like hey what are you rving in today what are you rving in right now and then that's going to prompt the customer and again what are you rving in right now remember we're asking questions that start with who what when where why and how because questions that start with who what when where why and how will prompt a customer or a person or a potential client to share with you their dreams, their wants, their ideas, what they're trying to accomplish, right? And that's where we need to get, right? We need to understand, hey, what are you RVing in right now? And when they tell us that they're RVing in a 2014, um, you know, travel trailer, we could ask something like, hey, well, what do you like about your travel trailer? Hey, well, you know, we really like the the outdoor kitchen in it, and we like this and we like that. But what we don't like is that when we're traveling, you know, the RV is a little short. So when we get to where we're going, the, we don't have enough room as a family inside of the RV. Here we thought we wanted an RV that was shorter and easier to pull. But now that we have some time in it, we realize that we really want a longer RV that has more living space for our family and our friends. Right. So now you see, oh, there's an issue here. There's a problem with the old RV and they're here to fix that problem. Right. So now when we're asking them questions, hey, what do you like about the old? Oh, boom, boom, boom. OK, so well, what size RV are you looking for or how many people are going to be going with you? Right. How many people end up in your RV on, you know, a, a, any given weekend? Right. Uh, you can ask the question in many different ways. But as long as it's going to start with who, what, when, where, why, and how, it's going to get our customer talking. And that's what we want to do. Get our customer talking about what they're trying to accomplish, you know, where they're going to be going, who they're going to be going with, if they already have an RV, what issues they have, and what they're trying to fix in their next RV. Because those are strong points that we can use to close a deal, right? It's much easier to close a customer when they have pain points. Than, they, than it is when they don't have any pain points, right? And as a salesperson, the more that we can dig into those pain points and those problems, the easier it's going to be to close the deal. So we're going to be asking questions. Hey, what are you RVing in now, right? Who are you going to be going with? What are you going to be doing? How many people are going to be in the RV? What kind of truck do you have? What's your tow vehicle? You know, what are we going to be doing when we get to our destination, right? How often are we going to be traveling? Right. And all these different questions to learn 
what RV we need to show them so that once we go and show them the RV that, you know, we believe is the right RV at the show, now we can say, okay, look at this. This is the perfect RV. It's going to give you more size. It's going to give you X, Y, and Z. It's going to fix all of those issues. It's going to help you, you know, accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish that we spoke about. We have it at a sale price today at, you know, X, Y, Z dollars. You're going to save, you know, $2,000 $5,000, $10,000 off our normal price today at the show. And all you got to do is put down a $500 deposit to lock in that price. Sign right here. Okay, so we're going to write up the numbers. And, and this is something I should have said actually before that. Once we get a customer inside of this RV and we you know ask them who, what, when, where, why, and how, we're going to show them the numbers. Maybe inside the RV, at the dinette, maybe at tables that you have outside or you know however you lay it up at your show right but that's what we're going to do we're going to take them we're going to sit them down we're going to say hey let me show you the numbers real quick that way you know exactly what you'll need to pay cash for or what your monthly payment will be if you were to finance this rv and buy it today here at the show it'll only take me five minutes sound fair enough boom now we're into the numbers we show the numbers hey this is a perfect rv for you all you need is $500 down on a credit card. It's 100% refundable. You know, whatever your spin is at your dealership, it's 100% refundable. So all you got to do, lock in this show price here on this unit. And if you find something else in the show that you like better, come back, get your deposit, no big deal, okay? If you want to be a little bit more aggressive and don't, you know, don't even give them the option to find something else. And the truth is, is usually when someone puts a deposit down, they're not going to look too hard at the other units. So if I'm one of the first ones at the show, I'm I'm trying to get that deposit because if I have a $500 deposit, that customer at least has to come back to me to cancel it. So if they do walk the show, like every customer is going to do, they're not just going to stop in aisle one by the first one they see and then not walk the rest of the show, right? So they're going to walk the rest of the show. But if you have the deposit down on an RV, it's much stronger than if they say, hey, I'll give you a call later. Hey, I'll be back if that ends up being the RV that we want. Because we know how these shows go. Customers have notes. They have pamphlets. They have brochures. They have bags full of brochures and um, business cards of RV salespeople that couldn't close the deal either. And they're going to forget which RV you showed them most of the time. It's very confusing. A lot of RVs. What aisle were we in? Blah, blah, blah. So we have to close the deal or at least get a deposit down on an RV before the customer leaves so that we can get the deal closed at the RV show. Right. That's the difference is it's a much more sped up, much more aggressive sales process. When we get it, if we're the first customers in line at the RV show and they run through our aisle first, we still have to be able to get a deposit and get over that objection that we're going to get of, hey, well, I got the rest of the show to see. I want to make sure that we're finding the right RV and we're at the right price. So, you know, hey, if, the, if your RV is the right one, we're going to come back to it later. We have to be able to overcome that objection. So something I say is, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this. Just put $500 down on our on this RV. It's a perfect RV. It's at the right price. We already know that. Put a $500 def refundable deposit on a credit card on this RV so that you can lock in that show price. And if you find something better, come back. We'll cancel it. No harm, no foul. I won't even, you know, I won't even try to get you to buy it anymore we'll just cancel it and and be done with it does that sound fair enough because now if i can get that 500 dollars deposit down on that rv now now while that customer is looking at rvs at other aisles and other dealerships they're not looking as hard they're already kind of into an rv right now they have to go through this process again they might even tell people hey we just bought one that way the salespeople, you know don't really bother them right Juan J Perez welcome back my friend I always love your input well said Chris remember the urgency is real what is their buying story shows are great when you make them great customers love bragging on how great of a deal they got absolutely 
And that's what it is. The urgency is real at an RV show because we only have so much time at a dealership at our location. We're there all year, all day, every day. We have plenty of time to get a deal done. But while we're at an RV show, we only have 16 hours, 20 hours, 24 hours, whatever it ends up being. And we got to get the deal closed today. Shows are great when you make them great. I love that. Shows are great when you make them great because sometimes a show can suck. If we keep talking to the wrong customers, if we put too much time into customers that are not buyers, if we are not asking the right questions, your show will absolutely suck. Do yourself a favor and start the interaction with not, hey, I see that you're a Browns fan. Hey, the weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful, right? We're not starting our, our sentences with anything like this. We're saying something like, hey, what are you RVing in right now? Great question to start at an RV show because, again, it'll say, hey, we're not RVing in anything. We're not even trying to buy an RV. They might, they're just going to spill their guts right there. We're not even trying to buy an RV. We drive a Geo Metro and we're just here for the food and the snacks. Okay. Now, are we going to spend three hours with that person when we have 40, 50, 100 people coming down the aisle? <laughs> no, I'm not spending time with a Geo Metro snack eater. Okay. The next person comes down the line and they're like, Hey, what are you RVing in right now? And they're like, hey, you know, we're in a 2014 um, travel trailer, uh, right? You know, and they start telling you what they do. You know, we're in a 14 travel trailer and, you know, we're just going to, you know, we came to the show to look for something different, right? We were been camping in this. We've come to realize it's not big enough for us and our family, right? We've come to realize that. You know, it's just something that we need differently. And that's why we're here. Boom. Well, now I'm going to start asking that question. Or I'm going to start asking that customer different questions about that RV. Avalon RV Center, welcome. Love this, especially with the RV show in a couple weeks here in Cleveland. Big RV show coming to Cleveland, Ohio. IX Center. If you guys have not been to that RV show, it's one of the big ones. Avalon RV Center, a great dealership will be there. And exactly, they're going to be taking up units. They're going to be taking up sales teams. And they want to start the de the year off right. Okay, we can only do that if we're asking the right question. So what are you RVing in right now? Great question. Because then again, hey, we're not RVing in nothing. Hey, we're RVing in a brand new 2022 that we just bought last year. Not someone I'm spending time with right? I'm moving on to the next. Hey, we're not camping in anything, but we just bought a truck. We're trying to start camping. We want to start going to different campgrounds, right? Now, oh, this is a person that we can start talking to because, well, they just bought a truck. They bought a truck because they want to start camping. They came to the RV show because they want to start camping, Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what are you looking for? Where are you going to be going? Who are you going to be going with? What are you going to be doing while you're there? And start asking those interview questions, those who, what, when, where, why and how questions so we can learn their needs, wants, desires. We can learn everything about what they're trying to accomplish. Then we take them to the RV that perfectly meets their needs that we have at the show. We sit them down. We demo, we demo the RV really quick. We show them the numbers, and then we close on those numbers right then and there. Hey, put a deposit down on this RV, $500. It's a refundable deposit. So if you find a better RV and down the show, down the rest of the way, whatever you want to say, if you find a better deal, I'll give you your $500 back, no harm, no foul, but you'll lock in the show price and you already know this RV is a perfect one for you. So buy this RV today, sign right here. Well, you know, we want to go walk the rest of the show, but, uh, you know, we want to come back to you. Do you have a business card? Well, you know, I hear what you're saying, but just put $500 down on this RV. It's going to be hard to find me later in the show. I know how it goes. Again, it's, it's completely refundable. So if you find a different RV that is better for you, 
buy that one no harm no foul we can cancel your refund it's not a big deal but i'm telling you this is a perfect rv for you you know it i know it's the perfect weight it's got all the features you're not going to find a better rv in the entire show or a better deal than this one that you're buying right here so i hear what you're saying but sign right here Put the five hundred dollars down again. It's refundable, so no harm, no foul. If you some, if you find something different, sign right here. Again, urgency. We got to create urgency. We have to get these customers to put the deposit down to sign this the, the purchase agreement. That way, they are somewhat locked into the deal. So while they go through the the show, they don't have to come back to you right or if they do come back to you to cancel you at least get another shot at the deal right or they just buy the rv and they they're done with it now they just walk the rest of the show they tell everybody hey we already bought one no big deal and then bada bing bada boom but if we're not creating that urgency if we're not figuring out what customers are buying when like we're not figuring out early in the experience as opposed to an hour or two hours after the fact. Like we don't want to be talking to a customer for an hour and then finally realize that they're camping in a 2022 fifth wheel that they just bought last year. And they've been talking to you for an hour of your 12 with no real intention to buy. Like that's not what we need. Okay. So if we want to start selling more RVs at our shows, we got to create that urgency. We got to write up the numbers on every RV that we show. This is very important. I cannot stress this enough. Once we get a customer and we realize, hey, this is a customer that's a buyer. We have the right product for them. We show that RV. Now we write the numbers. No questions asked. When that customer tries to leave and say they don't need the numbers, you say something like, hey, it'll only take five minutes. It'll be better for you to know the out the door price and your monthly payment. That way you at least have all the information you need while you're shopping the rest of the show. Here, come sit down with me. Let me show you the numbers. That way you have all the information. Sound fair enough? Then they sit down with you. You show them the numbers. We try to close on the deal. One step at a time though, right? It's got to go from, hey, what are we RVing in? interview and qualify once we find out the needs wants desires of our customer we show them the rv once we demo the rv we write up the numbers once we write up the numbers we close on that rv we get the deposit that way our customer is locked into that unit again and if they do find another rv they at least have to come back to cancel their deposit that way we have another shot at the deal if you're having trouble in the sales process, you can get the book, Sell More, Live More Sales Training. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Barnes & Noble. It'll help you get better at the sales process. The link is in the description. Uh, if you are a dealership or business that needs more customer leads, maybe you need more sales training, whatever it might be, we can help you out here at IMR. That's exactly what we do. If your dealership needs more customer leads or sales training, give me a call directly. 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. Give me a call. I'd love to help your dealership get more customer leads. I'd love to help your sales team get better at the deal. That way the dealership, the salespeople, and the customers involved, it's better for everybody. It's a win-win. More customers are happy. Dealerships are closing more deals. Salespeople are closing more sales. It's a win-win for everyone. So if you're a dealership or business that needs more customer leads, don't hesitate to give me a call because we can provide that for your business and we save you money at the same time. Give me a call 330-703-3930. Again, 330-703-3930. We're going to be talking about the RV sales process and the sales process in general all year long. So if you haven't connected with me on LinkedIn yet, hop over to LinkedIn. Find me on there, Chris Paulino. Connect with me. That way you can be there for the LinkedIn Lives. If you haven't liked us on Facebook yet or subscribe to our YouTube channel, hop over to YouTube, hop over to Facebook, type in Infinite Media Resources and go like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you don't want to do all that, the link is in the description. Very easy. Um, so go down to the description, sign up or rather subscribe and like our Facebook page. 
if you're an RV salesperson that, you know, maybe doesn't like to read, right? Maybe we don't want to grab the sell more, live more sales training book. Uh, maybe we like video and audio better. You can sign up for the online sales training program. It's only around $9.97 a month or around 100 bucks for the whole program. So it's very inexpensive and it'll walk you through the RV sales process from A to Z. That way you can get better at closing the deal. If that's something you're interested in, hop over to sellmorelivemore.net. Surprise, surprise, link is in the description. But hop over to sellmorelivemore.net, sign up or purchase the Sell More Live More RV sales training program, and that'll help you dial in that RV sales training. So again, thank you everybody for being here. We're gonna be talking about RV sales, RV sales process, and the sales process all year long. Remember, go grab the book on Amazon, links in the description. And if your dealership or business needs more customer leads, which most people do, give me a call directly, 330-703-3930. Let me or let my agency help your dealership or business get more customers. We'd love to help. So again, thank you for being here. I'll see you on the next one.